the 2023 U.S. economy, in a dozen charts. The U.S. labor market ended the year strong, creating more than 200,000 jobs in the last month of the year and nearly 2.7 million jobs in all of 2023, when seasonally adjusted. Consumer spending remained robust throughout the year, with bright spots in travel and entertainment. There were some trouble areas for consumers, however, with mortgage rates high and existing home sales low. Pairs in focus this week, Australian dollar to US dollar, BTC slash USD, oil, S&P 500, US dollar to Swiss franc, gold, pound sterling to US dollar, DAX. The Australian dollar has plummeted during the course of the week, but there is plenty of support underneath to keep this market afloat. Ultimately, I think we are in the middle of a larger consolidation area between the 0.65 level on the bottom and the 0.69 level above. Because of that, the market is going to continue to try to search for some type of momentum, but right now we are just killing time. Aussie dollar faces inflation test after stellar year-end rally. Bloomberg, the Australian dollar's late 2023 rally faces a new hurdle this week with inflation data expected to strengthen the case for earlier interest rate cuts by the Reserve Bank. The Aussie jumped nearly 10% against the greenback from late October through December as the RBA sounded hawkish while traders priced Federal Reserve rate cuts this year. The rally may struggle to extend if November inflation data Wednesday provides room for the central bank to soften its tone and prompts the swap market to price the first RBA interest rate cut earlier than in June. Fed pivot will dominate year of rate cuts and turn a global cycle. Bloomberg, the coming 12 months are shaping up as the year of the interest rate cut. After racing ahead with the most aggressive tightening campaign in decades during 2022 and 2023, central banks around the world are poised to begin easing monetary policy as inflation continues to retreat. The shift is captured by Bloomberg Economics, whose aggregate gauge of rates across the world shows a decline of 128 basis points over the year, mostly led by emerging economies. UK labour market firms after recent slowdown, REC survey. London, Jan 8, Reuters, British employers raised pay and recovered some of their appetite for hiring in December, according to a survey that the Bank of England may see as another sign of lingering inflation pressure in the labour market. The Recruitment and Employment Confederation, REC, survey published on Monday showed hiring of permanent workers continued to shrink last month as employers worried about the economy, but less severely than in November. Thank you. 